Leslie made the vlog finally. Do something I, funny. <laughs> no, you put this camera in my face. You put this camera in my face all the time, oh. and I never make the vlog, <laughs> so I'm not even worried anymore. That sounds like an intro right there. No, it's not. It's the intro. <laughs> I always say dumb shit into this camera because you catch me off guard and it never gets put on the vlog. That's the intro for show. Starting the next one. I vloggers. <laughs> what do you call someone who watches a vlog? Vlog watchers? A vlog viewer. Double V's. It's like a W. <laughs> Team Hoot. Everybody watches the vlog. <laughs> Hajime! Alright, I gotta fit two weeks into this vlog. No hair this time. I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's go. By the way, anytime Leslie makes the vlog, I will announce it with this megaphone. So I drove up to Fargo. Brad Hartsuck, my best buddy in the whole wide world. Oh man, my best, my bestest, best of friends. Uh, he took the GoPro and tried to get a bunch of footage for me. So I'm looking for Trevor because I want to get a signed dollar from Sean, but I'm finding some cool people along the way. This is uh, Brent Parmer's dad. So do you know Sean Francis? Oh, no, no. My he, name only. My name only. He is oh, no. Povold, yep. He does a Povold thing vlog. Okay. So now you're on the vlog. Oh. <laughs> I can get him up to 19 feet. Can you? In the long term. Oh, you will. You want to be on the vlog? Let's go, Kev. Well, you're already in it, so. <laughs> I don't do, I don't, I'm not a funny person. Yeah, you are. Do something funny. No. Everybody does funny things. No, I don't. Do your best impression of a giraffe. <laughs> and then I told him at one point, if he could go get Trevor Barry to do something funny on the GoPro, I would give him one signed dollar because that's how me and my friends do stuff. Hello, dude. Hey. Hey, how's it going? GoPro. This is Sean's GoPro. You're on the vlog. I'm on the vlog. Now you gotta do something funny. No, man, no. Come on, do something funny. You gotta delete that one. <laughs> you gotta do something funny. Do like a poop squad or something. No, I'll do that to you. He's gonna give me a signed dollar if you do something funny. Come back to me and I'll, let me think about something. I'll think about something. You know, you just do it, just something out of the blue. I'll think about something. No, because then you're going to go run and hide. That's showing I'm anti-social media. How about that? You're not going to do nothing? No, man. I got to be a role model for these kids. Oh. Yeah. I got to show them what, what not to do. Can you do a handstand? Uh, I'm good, man. Can you do a backflip? Can you do your best impression of a giraffe? All right, let me see what you got first. You want to feel Every bet we do is based on a dollar. And so, when we do that, it's more embarrassing to be like, Hey Brad, remember when I beat you and I have this trophy I get to bring with me everywhere I go? Ah! So if he's ever being a jerk, he just whip the dollar out and blah, 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 blah. I'm a winner. I will carry one. But I don't like to talk about it. I lose, I didn't get nothing. He has a video on me, that's about it. He's just laughing over there. <laughs> oh, yes, we made the vlog again. <laughs> so the warm-ups at the NDSU meet were like 20 mile an hour crosswinds and me and Jack were struggling because we have a pretty active pole drop and every time the pole would drop it would swing off the runway. So that made it very difficult. So halfway through warm-ups I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm 
I'm just gonna wait and see if the wind changes or conditions get better for when the meet started. And about two, three hours later, they did. It turned into like a cross tail and it wasn't 20, it was more like 10 miles an hour. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> and she's okay with it. She's just like, whatever. <laughs> so I came in at 520 on that 16 0 flex and smoked it. <laughs> and then I went up a pole to 530. Five, that 15.5 flex, and I smoked 17.6 or 17.7, whatever that is. <laughs> and then at 5.51, okay, the first jump I was under, because uh, I was excited to be jumping that high and I was finally warming up. Uh, the second jump, uh, I was out because the wind died down. So this is a big attempt. We got a sign dollar on the line here. Uh, 18-1. And he's, got, he's gonna do it. Just because we're gonna sign a dollar to him. Why not? I mean, it's free money, right? And the third jump, I was dead on. And then I just decided to not pull my hand up over the bar as well. Oh, so close. <laughs> but it was a good jump. Still, those California cues aren't consistent, but when they work, they work. I just need more reps, and I don't have them. So that's what happened at the meet. It was a good meet. And it was fun hanging out with my best buddy, and my brother, and my friends, and everybody else. I tied the stadium record. I should have went to 536, and I would have knocked Jack Witt off the thing, but... Now we share it. Whatever. Leslie has a fun little comment here and she wants to show everybody. I don't think that's vlog appropriate. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so after the meet, I was pretty hungry to keep vaulting because it's just right there where everything's just going to start blowing up. And I told myself after the American Track League that I wasn't going to do any meets until Vault in the Ville. But I just did NDSU meet, and then after NDSU went well... Well, alright Leslie and Jack, I'll go to Lacrosse, Wisconsin with you. Yeah, six meets in five weeks. It's a whole lot of meets, and I'm not used to jumping like that. But, I decided to go to Lacrosse, so that's what we did. I had one practice with Caroline White, and it didn't go very well because of all the meets I <laughs> and my legs are just like, we need to not do meets anymore and travel. I had a few good jumps, I guess. I mean, they would have been good at the beginning of the season, but right now I'm not so excited about them anymore. And then after the practice, we had a top secret meeting. Where the glowing class bars on the corner. You yep. take Where are you sitting right now, Caroline? <laughs> Happy in Henry's class. <laughs> <laughs> Lazy edits. <laughs> Meeting! Going to have a meeting, Jack. Oh yeah, meeting. Yeah, it's top secret. Top secret. That I can't talk to you guys about yet, but you will find out what, is it, what it is about soon enough. Some cool things are in the works. So look out! So Thursday, I drove to La Crosse, Wisconsin. It was about a three hour drive, and the men were supposed to start at 5.30. I got there at 2.30. And then the meet did not end up starting until 6.30. And it was 45 degrees out with 10 miles an hour of gusting winds. And it was cold. <laughs> it was really, really cold. But I had a really good warm up and I met a lot of cool vaulters down there and I had a ton of fun warming up and couldn't wait to jump. So, we waited. Is this good footage here? Whoa, you guys, get a room. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Wait, show me your shoes first, Miss Ninja Leslie. <laughs> trail shoes. Yeah, trail shoes. AKA assassin shoes. Yeah, no, I did your elbows. 
<laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> and we waited. Let's go, Jeff. Four hours in. Four hours in. I got here at 2.30. 921. And it's way warmer doing this right now. It's 40 degrees outside. <laughs> Leslie had a good day. Kind of. Turn it around. To look at your face for once. No. <laughs> Leslie got on the biggest pole she's ever been on in her entire life. <laughs> oh! That was so scary, Chad. That was so scared. <laughs> And I That's up the, the worst. My faces. That's the worst positive you spin on anything I've ever heard. I'm not even shaking anymore. It's true. I'm not <laughs> moving. I don't even care. I gotta work. I thought you were calling in sick. Dude, I don't know. I'm gonna get. We fired. can't put that in the vlog, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm calling in sick. I'm calling in sick. <laughs> and we waited some more. Still here. Yeah, yeah. Nothing but pole vault. We'll start doing an hour before the track meet. Started. It's gonna end three hours after. Three hours after the <laughs> And we kept waiting. Can you even be in these vlogs? I don't know how the NCA would appreciate that. Make it. What's your fake name? My name's Hefe. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Hefe. Maybe <laughs> Jose. <laughs> that's me, Lombre. Hey, that's me, Lombre. <laughs> we waited some more. And then by the time I finally came in. Everyone was out of the meet. I came in at 5.20, 17.1, and it was 10.15 at night. So I got there at 2.30, it's 10.15, I've only eaten like little snacks and a ton of Powerade and water, and I was freezing for that whole time. There was like 15 people who stuck around to watch, and you are the best people in the entire world, and I pre appreciate you guys sticking around, and... I'm sorry it didn't go very well. But it was my first no height of the year. <coughs> And if I look a year back from right now, it was the same week I know how I did last year. So this week, I am never going to jump again. <laughs> uh, I probably will. But it just is funny how that all worked out. But uh, it was a good no height. Um, I did my <clears throat> warm up jump on the 16 all. I blew through the, I was cleared the whole pit. So I started the meet on that 15 5 pole and blew through that on my first attempt at 520. My second attempt at 520. Oh, it was a good attempt. Uh, I was just a little bit under, and on my last attempt, I just dropped the pole tip a little too early. So for my last couple steps, I was trying to keep it up, which made me run stupid, which ended my jump and then move let me on, baby. Swing it up. Oh, so it was a long day to no height, but that's all right because it was another really good progress day because I was flying, and I don't think I've ever started on that 15-0. I've always kind of worked my way up to it, and I needed it on my the first bar. So that's never happened which is really cool and good for those crummy conditions. So now I'm gonna take a couple weeks off because I need to. <laughs> but everyone always looks at no heights like, like here, there's the best way to explain it. It feels like an intervention, you know, like. This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. He was so motivated and passionate about everything he did. Until the day he no heighted. He was hard to be around. He spent more time in the woods, but nobody knows why. It was an instant switch from being optimistic to pessimistic. We just didn't know what to do anymore. That no height turned him into Medusa. It like turned him into stone or a pillar of salt. It turned him into Scar from the Lion King. It turned him into the guy who killed Bambi. Maybe Voldemort. The shark from Jaws. He was right in the middle of a season, but tried to space himself as far as he could from the pole vault, even though he had practice in that very next day. Nay, 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 nay. Turn him into Darth Vader. The guy who throws his hat at James Bond in the James Bond movies. Gollum, that thing from the Lord of the Rings movies. Tanya Harding, the Russian from the Rocky movies. Turn him into Walmart. It was just one meat. The result does not define the vaulter that he is.
that's enough. Coach came up to me after. You know, you have to have a really short memory to be an elite athlete. I've heard that before, but I don't really like that. You have to have a short memory if you thought it was a crappy meet, you know, or you thought you did a crappy result, or you didn't have a good day. Or you can have a really long memory as long as you look at the positives in the situation. So that's what I chose to do. I saw the positives, and there were a lot of positives. And again, it's another step forward in the right direction. And when this decides to blow it up, whether it's this year or next year, it's just, it is going to blow up. Have a short memory, unless you're going to look at stuff really shitty. <laughs> Have a big, long memory if you're going to find the positives. And there were a lot of them. You know, it's not like I didn't run through three times in no height. I mean, then it would have been a crappy meet. And that drive home for three hours would have been even worse. But it was a really good meet. Yeah, everyone thinks it's more like this. We spent more time in the woods but nobody knows why. When really it's not. It's very happy, if you look at it that way. I'm ready to get some quality training in for a couple weeks before Vault in the Ville in Kentucky. So if you guys are around, go check that out, because that'll be pretty sweet. So I have two weeks. What do you guys want to see for two weeks? I'll be training, and I've been slacking on filming me training, but I'll try and do a better job at that. So if there's anything extra you guys might want to see, let me know. And if I can fit it in, I will do that. Like always, subscribe on YouTube. This thing you're watching right here. It's a little window on a site called YouTube. Post the subscribe button. Follow me on all the amazing social media places like Twitter and Instagram. Sean Danger Hoot because Danger is my middle name. I'll put the intervention video up because I think it's kind of funny as a whole, as itself. So yeah, that's it. Okay. Bye. Randomness of the week. We have this little dog. I named him Squishy because as soon as the puppy was born, I was watching Finding Nemo. And if you remember that scene where they're like, I shall name him Squishy. And Squishy's been his name ever since. <laughs> yeah, just let him chill out in my room because I like him a lot and he goes crazy. Um, I look over and he was crawling in my hoot shirt. <laughs> he couldn't get out. He was doing like backflips and my shirt was freaking out. So I grabbed the GoPro immediately and started filming. And uh, Squishy is now an official member of Team Hoot. Come on! I say so. Hey! You did it! He's an official member of Team Hoot. Crawled in there himself, went crazy. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Headwinds. The Predator. The Warden in Shawshank Redemption. Mr. Potter from It's a Wonderful Life. Agent Smith from The Matrix. The guy from 300 who decided to make sexual advances at the Queen. That's what he was like.